Hey, what's happening everybody? So I'm here with DJ Vendetta. He's got this awesome retired ambulance that he's currently converting into a van dwelling slash custom RV. And I just think it's the coolest thing ever and one of the coolest things to begin with. Um, he's got an awesome YouTube channel, so you guys should check that out. Link is in the description. But we want to give you a look around this thing and show you why having an ambulance is such a good place to start for a uh, custom van dwelling. So can you show us around the outside? Yeah, sure. Um, First things first, there's not a whole, lot, a whole lot on this side. You just got your main entry door right here. Really sturdy door. Really sturdy. It's got a built-in, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the screen. The screen. So mm -hmm. that was already done. Good to go. Got a big closet on this side. I've also got three closets on the other side, which are all very similar to this one right here. Wow. Look at all that room. This has yeah. actually become, become my, uh, my wood closet when I put in my stove, my wood stove. Very nice. It's got all these lights. Are all these lights functional? Yeah, they are. You're you not just... supposed to run them on the road, but they do They do work. Nice. I'll <laughs> bet out in the woods it's really nice to have all that. Oh, yeah, especially the, the clear ones. Yeah, they light up the entire area. And I've got uh, another closet here, another one right here, another one right there. So I've, I've got more than enough storage. Dang. Looks a little messy right now, but in the middle of getting things done. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're still converting it. Yeah, no, that's totally expected. Yeah, that would be nice to have all these lights on the outside when you're camping, because if you hear a bear or a coyote oh, yeah. or something, you can just light them all up. And the controls for it are right in the inside, so literally I can hit all the buttons, get everything lit up, and I can see what's going on. Very nice. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the inside. All right. Look at this thing. Yeah, I mean, the amount of space in here... You can't really tell even from the outside how much space there is. I mean, I've got a full size bed here. Actually, excuse me, a twin size bed. Memory foam. I've got all this different storage. I've got storage here. I've even got my microwave right in there. Nice. Just have to run a little uh, extension cord from over there, but it's got everything already wired up for power. I didn't really have to do a whole lot of retrofitting. All these lights are factory. Didn't have to retrofit at all. I've got an AC, all fans. Got a lot of good stuff in here. And the only thing I've really added was more of taking things out, such as making room for my uh, for my shower and adding the solar panels. So it came with a power inverter, right? Uh, it didn't. This one didn't. They do come with them, but somebody had already hijacked it. Oh, so I just had to go. put one in, but it was already wired, so I just wired everything up. Wow, and it's good to go. And it has a special place for for the battery bank. Uh, actually, it uses the, there's two batteries under the hood. Um, they're both uh, I put in Optum yellow tops and. They have more than enough power. Huh? Yeah. Well, you got plenty of space with all the storage under this thing to put oh, yeah. a massive battery <laughs> bank. And the top is totally flat, so it's really easy to mount solar panels on yeah. this thing. And the body of this thing is aluminum and fiberglass, right? That's right. That's so it's right. lightweight, no rust, and good insulation. And yeah. you were saying it's already insulated? Yeah, it's already insulated, and uh, with the way it's designed, it's actually built to survive a roller over crash. So nice. That's unlike important. in a regular RV, it could be really messed up if you, if yeah. you crash in that thing. Well, that's, the ambulance is made to last. And exactly. It's made to be abused and it's made to be crashed and driven fast and everything else. Driven really hard. Yeah, and the RVs <laughs> are just made like junk, man. So that's, that's, right. that's one of the things I like about a van, but this is a whole nother level. By the way, I'm 5'7 and I'm not touching the roof. I can totally stand up freely in here. So, yeah, it's got just all this stuff, man. These cabinets are really yeah. well made, too. These, are, these doors are plexiglass. Well, that's really nice. And got all these little head bash guards all over the place, so mm -hmm. like in the nice back everywhere. Yep. So if you hit your head, it's not gonna hurt that bad. Nice. <laughs> and you, you have the factory uh, roof fans in here. I saw, but you, how did you get these in here? Because you were saying that they originally didn't have a fan in there. It was just a volt the vent. The original one was back here. That one was just a vent up, a vent up front. But this one back here, the fan broke, and so I just found these ones at O'Reilly's, and they were the perfect size. And I just, you know, wow. Zip tied them in and uh, yeah, and that was wired it. them up. That is sweet. Wow, so this thing, it's totally wired. It comes with lights. It comes with kind of a, at least roof vents. You can easily put a fan in. Yeah. I mean, this really, cool. all that I really needed to add to just live in it was a bed. And that's how I started out at it. You know, I just put my bed in there and boom, I'm living in it. And just did little things here and there. I really haven't done that much. Nice. What's what's your bed set up? How does this work? Um, well, this one right here, it actually it folds up to where you can see my pantry. Oh, you got a cycle cruiser thing going on here. <laughs> exactly. And actually, uh, I took some ideas from him on the whole fold up bed thing. I was going to do something completely different, but yeah, I did this. I've got about three months worth of food down here. I've got nice. tools. I've got everything that I need. I've got plenty of water, uh, as you can see on the Very outside. Nice. Um, 
Yeah, I've got more than enough. You got a Mr. Buddy heater down there. Yeah, Mr. That's a lifesaver. Everybody uses that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. great. And with the with the ventilation that I already have built in, I don't have to worry about actually having to worry you know, about having a um, a window open. Huh? So that way, you know, no carbon monoxide poisoning. Nobody's going to die. <laughs> do those back windows open at all? Uh, no, they don't. Just the one on the side door? Yeah, just the side one. Okay. The back windows, I just painted over them just because I didn't want people seeing in. And my plan was actually eventually, in, you know, to remove them and fill them in. So that's why I just didn't bother tinting them. Have you ever had any problems with uh, people complaining or cops or anything? It's uh, Ambulance is pretty unstealthy. You lose, <laughs> you lose a little stealth. You yeah. stick out quite a bit. Yeah, and that's also why... That's I've, its I've, major downfall. Yeah, that's why I thought, like, different ways. Of, should I paint it to where I'm trying to be a little bit more stealthy, like just all white, or actually scream about it and put a big old logo on it, you mm -hmm. know? But, yeah, I have gotten some complaints. Uh, I've just learned keep moving. Don't stay in the same spot every single day. Yeah. And then they usually don't bother you. Actually, I got um, questioned by the uh, San Francisco Police Department. And they asked, you know, they they were trying to come in and see what I had going on. And, you know, I'm a bit of a constitutionalist. So I'm like, no, we're not without a warrant or without probable cause. And then the, the cop was just like straight up with me. He was like, all right, fine. How about this? I just want to see your ID. I want to run your name. Just make sure that you're not some kind of predator, you know, <laughs> you know, looking to try to steal so, some, some children or something. Yeah, right. In an ambulance. Some and sexual pervert. Yeah. So I was like, fair enough. Hand him my ID. He came back. I said, I'll never see you again. Wow. So that was that. Nice. Um, it's much better. At least living in this is still better than living in a rundown RV. Mm -hmm. You know, especially considering how much I really paid for this thing. They wanted like twenty nine hundred bucks. I was able to get down to sixteen hundred bucks. Wow, that's what I paid for my Astro. Yeah, nice, nice. Dang, and so, this is a diesel. Diesel. You said it's a ninety six. Ninety four. Ninety four. How many miles are on it? One hundred sixty thousand. Did you get records with everything? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it from the ambulance company that last owned it, so I got it from an independent, you know, uh, uh, seller. But you were saying that this this particular ambulance was actually in New York City. Yeah. It was used during 9-11. Yeah. Um, the, uh, is... the old owner actually contacted me and let me know that, you know, somebody that had been looking into the ambulance did some research on it and found out it was there at Ground Zero on 9-11. Wow. So it's got a bit of history. Which, yeah, this is a... It's kind of cool to restore it and, you know, keep it going just because of that. Yeah, it's an important, important vehicle. So is there anything else you can show us back here? Uh, it's got a ventilation system. What's up with that? Does it have a heater? Uh, it has it has a heater and it has AC built in. You have to be running the engine to use either or. The okay. heater works off of the, uh, the coolant and okay. the AC works off the front AC. But as long as you got it running and you... It gets either really cool in here, or it could get really warm. I just don't have it hooked up right now for the heater. I just use a little buddy. The diesel, you can just sit and run diesels for oh, yeah. forever. It doesn't oh, yeah. I've, I've like used a like engine. a quarter of a tank of fuel, which is like, I think, uh, 10 gallons, uh, in almost 24 hours of letting it idle. Wow. Because it was really hot down in, uh, down in um, Houston, and I wanted to make sure autumn was going to be good. So I just literally let it run for almost 24 oh. hours because you know, I was at work and then I came home and I'm like, it's too hot out. So I just left it running. So your other thing that you were showing me is this uh, the shower. Yeah. And I did use, uh, I think I saw this on your YouTube channel mm -hmm. about using the uh, good old weed uh, sprayer. The weed sprayer. Yeah. But I did get this little nozzle from Walmart and uh, it works great. And it gives you a better stream than just the little sprayer. And ah. I just hooked up the hose and like literally, and it's easy. This little storage area in here actually makes like the perfect shower stall, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just had to take out all the you know take off all the doors, take out all the shelves, and boom, I had a shower. And you've got you can even have an outdoor shower here. Technically speaking, yeah. And he was telling me at this bottom plate, if you can remove this, you'll be able to stand up all the way, and there's nothing under it. So you've got a perfect little uh, little shower area built into the van. I got him. This is Autumn. Oop. Okay, pup. Okay, pup. Cool. So uh, is there anything else you think people should know about this thing? Um, you about know, if, you're, if you're looking at trying to get into van dwelling, um, you might want to take a look at these. They have a lot of space and they're not that big and they're built tough. Especially if you end up looking at like a cheap RV, you're gonna have nothing but problems with it. You know, roof leaking and all that kind of stuff. And these things are built tough. So if you're looking, you might want to consider one of these. Yeah, I walked on. I walked on the ceiling of this thing, and it's it's very very sturdy. Much more so than my Astro. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it's rock solid. 
All right, well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks thank for you. Uh, showing everybody around. Make sure you check out his channel, guys. Thanks for watching. Love yourself. Woo!